So you can use whatever uh, your favourite um, graphics editing program. Uh, I've mentioned before that um, there is a free one, a very good one. I don't, I don't personally use it, only because I have the luxury of having. Excuse me, I have the luxury of having Photoshop. Uh, if you just do a Google search for GIMP, there we go, GIMP.org. GIMP is a, a very, very good um, uh, graphics editing program and certainly will do most things that Photoshop can do. If you do have Photoshop, then obviously that's good. Uh, so I'm just going to start a new, a new document here and I'm going to make it 960 wide by 125 high and 72 dpi. We'll just leave it like that. We're not going to get too crazy. I might just give it a quick graduation. Uh, let's do that, shall we? There you go, that's beautiful. That'll do. Uh, as I said, I'm not really going to spend a whole lot of time. This is my new logo. And we'll just quickly style that. looks very 1980s doesn't it and uh, we'll just put a quick stroke around it just to make it stand out a black stroke I think yes that looks suitably gaudy anyway that's the one we'll, you'll use um, that looks horrible Abs I can't I can't stand that sorry I'll have to change that <laughs> let's go uh, Let's go for something like that. There you go, that'll look nicer. Much nicer. That'll do. Okay, so we're just going to save that for web. So we've got it here, and uh, uh, I'll save it as a as a PNG. Only the reason is I know that it'll make the graduations the nicest. I'll turn off transparency, and I'm just going to make sure I save it into the right area. Template tutorial, templates, my template, images, and we'll call it header.png. We'll do. Very good. That's done. Now we can go back to our um, our CSS file, and here's our header. So now what we're going to do. So now we're going to go background image. Is and you can uh, in Dreamweaver it allows you to browse for it. Uh, are we in the right spot here? No, we're definitely not. Template, tutorial, templates, test, images, and header PNG. There we go. Uh, and that's pretty much how it should put it there as well. So, and we'll make the uh, background repeat new. And won't worry about the background position at the moment because it should fill up the whole area and of course the height will have to make the height 125 Oops. if we didn't do the height uh, we would notice well actually let's just leave it there and you'll see uh, let's leave that at 50 and save that and go back to our our preview and refresh and we can see what's happening the background is there. The other reason why I make it a background is that if, if, you, if I made it the image based on the index.php, in other words, if I was to actually insert the image into the index.php, it wouldn't allow me to put other elements over the top. So this allows you to put, uh, for instance, you can see that that text is still there. So I can use this space once it's sized correctly. I can use it for other things, other modules, you know, maybe put the date there, whatever it might be. Uh, that's why I always put it. And you'll find many templates are done that way. So let's just resize that again now to 125. Save that. Go back. And we should find there it is. So we'll just get rid of this piece here now. Uh, open up the index.php here it is uh, here let's get rid of that and of course as I said we could we could actually put another module uh, position up there um, you know we'll, we'll, we'll do that later okay so I'll just save that now uh, I'm just going to go back here and we'll refresh. We should find now that's gone. And we're starting to get something that starts to resemble a template. 
Uh, obviously, this is just for you know identification purposes. So, uh, I've deliberately done a few things incorrectly here because I wanted to. Uh, I want to demonstrate later on how we get around that. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna put a right module over here. So let let's do that now. So in the right module, uh, because we've got the code that we need just here, we can just simply copy that, and we will paste that in there, and just simply change this to right. Now there are many different ways we could do what I've just done there, and in fact, you'll find most um, most websites. Uh, most templates I should say won't do it that way uh, because they want the modules to be collapsible and or um, you know don't show when there's nothing in there uh, as I said I'm my only purpose here today is to show you a very basic way to build a template uh, so that you can understand it better uh, just to show you and if you've if you've looked into templates before you you will have um, you know, be familiar with this. Uh, I've got a little plugin for uh, Dreamweaver called um, uh, it's a Joomla plugin, and it allows you to insert code uh, by using scripts. And you can see what I've just done there. So this is how most would be done. It says um, if if the count of modules is greater than one, then show the module, else do nothing. Um, so that that's actually the probably the more correct way to do it. Um, you don't have to do it that way. So long as you have something published in that module position, uh, it will it will show okay. So let's just delete that. Um, I didn't want to show you that before because you, you don't have to have these type of tools. Uh, the exact code you need is is pretty simple. Uh, it's really only that section there that you actually need. Okay, so we'll just save that and we'll go back to our uh, admin area. back to admin area and we'll just make a right position so just go to your admin area and log in there <clears throat> and we're just going to make a right module position and we'll just make a custom HTML module position and publish it to the right side uh, here we go and we'll just call it right position or module we'll call it right module and we'll show the title so that we know that it's there just type in here right I will I will show how to um, uh, put these things in the in the drop down later on uh, it's not that difficult which is why I haven't spent much time on it so we'll just put a bit of text here and you know what we might even just put a an image of some sort eh? uh, Actually, no, we won't. Uh, I'll also install something that I install by default. So anyway, we've just got the right position, and it's it's just a simple uh, module, and that'll do it at the moment. We'll save that. So now that that's there, let's uh, let's refresh the page, and here we go. Here's the right module position. So that's no longer just something sitting there on its own. It is the right module position, and of course, if we uh, added more module positions, I would just go down one by one. Okay, so we are getting quite close, even though it might not look anything like what you want it to look like at the end. Essentially, we're finished, essentially, because we have uh, the ability to display uh, content inside the main body area. Uh, we have a menu, and we have a, a module position over here, and a banner at the top. We're, we're essentially done. We could stop there, and as much as this looks very unfinished, it pretty much is.